one now. Maybe I'll put it. What is up, you guys? It is your girl Bree, and I'm back with another banger. So before you get started watching this video, go ahead and hit that like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can stay tuned when I drop these bangers back to back. I am back officially posting consistently on YouTube. I am here in Japan. Koyoto, Japan to be exact. And I've been here since December 9th. But I'm gonna take you guys on a day with me in Japan. I miss traveling, so I was like, you know what? In 2023, the first six months of the year, I want to travel to every country in Asia. And guess what? I'm here and I'm doing it. My goal is to visit every major city here in Japan and do everything that Japan has to offer. So today, we're going to play dress up and do a photo shoot. The theme of the photo shoot is Geisha, Geisha, Geisha. Geisha. I don't really even know really what a geisha is. I mean, I've done research on it on Google and I also watched the movie Memorites of a Geisha, which is a really good movie. It's an old movie and it's very popular. I seen it for the first time a couple nights ago because I was like, I wanna dress up and I wanna participate in the shit that they do. But some people think geishas are prostitutes and I was just like, wait a minute. So we're gonna learn what's really going on in the geisha world. Like what are geishas, what do they do? Why are they so popular in Japan? What is a geisha? Because I don't know. And I like to travel so much to experience other people's culture. And this is how I experience their culture, by doing things that they do. So we finna go do it. We can wrap it like this. We can uh, it like this. Like, <laughs> Put a higher. Oh, higher. Okay. Like a bun. Coco got tight. Okay. Higher. Okay. So like. Ah. Oh. Like this. Yes.
minutes. I was literally smelling from ear to ear the entire time when they were putting on my makeup, when they were putting on a gown, when they were taking pictures. I was literally cheesing like a kid in a candy store because I enjoy going to different countries and experiencing their culture and just doing, I don't know, just basking in their energy. I love it. I think it's a great way to tap into the inner you by exploring the world. So now I have a six o'clock private tour to visit the actual Geisha village. It is 5.22. My appointment starts at 6 o'clock. It's a 22 minute walk. I could take a bicycle there. I could take the train there, but I decided I wanted to walk. I don't know why. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm not lazy, but I don't walk nowhere, bro. I don't walk nowhere in the state. I have my cars I can hop into and skirt skirt. So being out here really made me enjoy nature. Just being outside. It's peaceful here. It's a little cold. Um, I got some gloves on, but it's not that cold. I did secure my neck because I don't want to get cold. But it feels really good out here right now. It's peaceful as fuck here. Like, I never would have thought that Japan would completely change my outlook on life for the better. I've always been an open-minded, positive person, but Japan has a thousand percent made me a lot calmer. I used to be the type of person that, that, that's quick to act act on anger but what the fuck i have a reason to be angry for i'm in japan i'm about to travel to every country in asia i don't give a fuck about anything that used to piss me off i'm supposed to turn <laughs> i'm supposed to go this way but anywho um i love it here I feel like Japan is definitely on my top five. Okay, no, 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 I'm tripping, I'm tripping. I would say Japan is definitely the safest location I have ever been to. Yeah, for sure. Japan is definitely the safest country I have ever been to. Is it top five overall? I don't know yet. I don't know yet because I haven't really done anything adventurous that you guys know that I love adventure. I love doing crazy shit. I love skydiving, scuba diving. Anything that'll put your life in jeopardy, for some reason, it intrigues me and I like to do it. I don't know why. A thrill seeker? Yeah, that's me. That concludes today's TED Talk. I will get back on here when I get to my destination.